We're here in the rigging area at Sail Melbourne, the first of the ISAF World Cup events, and this is going to be an incredible event. We're going to see all the Olympic classes except the women's match race, so that means that we've got sailors like Malcolm Page competing in the 470, who's a five-time world champion and an Olympic gold medalist. We've got Marit Bomeister, the Dutch girl in the laser radial, who's number one ranked in the world and had a fantastic Sail Sydney last week. We've got arguably the two best sailors in the world, certainly the two best dinghy sailors in the world competing here. Ben Ainsley from Great Britain, three-time Olympic champion, a month ago won the world match racing title, and Tom Slingsby, who's the International Sailor of the Year, and won two world titles this year and three laser titles in total. They're just two of an amazing field that's gathered here, and over the next five or six days, we're going to see some incredible racing out on Port Phillip Bay. Well, Melbourne's a very tricky venue. It, you often come here thinking it's going to be strong breezes and a relatively one-way track, but in reality, uh, because of the Port Phillip Bay and the surrounds, it's a very fickle sea breeze, very shifty, and then you can get the north-easterly offshore breezes, which are very strong and very shifty and difficult, so it's not an easy place to sail. It's a testing venue for everybody, but we really enjoy it. Obviously, the, the onshore facilities here are, are fantastic. It's a very well-run well regatta and out in the water it's a really good challenge. It's been a very frustrating day, I think, for the race committee and for most of the sailors. Some classes, notably the Finns, didn't manage to get a race finished. The RSXs didn't even get out on the water. But those classes that did finish, we, we had some interesting results. Best fleet we've had so far and on home soil, which is really great. So. Yeah, we've got a lot of competition, so we know if we're doing well or if we're doing badly, so yeah, we keep sailing. Well, of course, it's a good start in the series, but I think um, nothing better could happen. We made a good start and went to make the right decision on the first upwind and then it was uh, really light and nothing changed in the fleet, so it was an easy race from the first lap on. For Malcolm Page and Matt Belcher, it was a, a good start for them. They, they won the 470 class. They had a little bit of a scare. The, the girls crew from Austria were leading them until almost on the finish line and uh, Malcolm was pretty open about it. He said, the girls scared us. We, we had to do a bit of wiggling and jiggling to, to get them. It, was, um, it ended up well for us. We, we got the bullet, so to speak. Uh, it was pretty close there for a while. The girls actually led for the majority of the race and uh, thankfully we were able to get them on the uh, last run home. So. We will be fighting for every race and every point and every regatta. Right? And, you know, our, the home one, being our first regatta, we want to get off to a nice clean start and show the rest of the world where they should be in second place. 